What's new in the world, my people? My name is Cyblade, and welcome back to Sonic Forces. We're picking up where we left off last time. We just finished off Zavok after Sonic... or after good old Hayabusa took out the power or something, and then Sonic was freed and whooped Zavok, who then vanished like he got Thanos snapped or something. Do I make that reference too much anytime someone disappears and go, oh, Thanos must have snapped. But... Oh well, anyways, we're moving on to this one. Death, or, yeah, Death Egg, Egg Gate. Alright. Let's see what this does. Might lose you guys for a second if a cutscene pops up, but... Nope, no cutscene. Didn't lose you guys. Is that thing clo is this closing on me? Oh my god! Oh god! Shoot! Planet! I guess anyone who crosses Eggman gets a one-way trip to space. No way I'm sticking around here. There's nothing to run on. Of course, that's the first of your concerns. I mean, we always knew um, Sonic, you know, never wanted to be cooped up, but still. I think you have more immediate concerns than just not being able to run someplace. Ugh. I was getting some horrible Tomb Raider flashbacks with, uh... You know, have they ever done anything like tried to lock up Eggman? Like, ever? To my knowledge, no. They just, you know... Beat his robots and then send him packing, you know? I wouldn't can I wouldn't say Eggman is like someone you know we gotta axe off not like someone like the Joker or Ow or Regime Superman but do more than just whoop his ass and send him on his way you know prison time ironically Jump and circle, yeah. I already figured that out. Ow! just grab a shuttle. The one I came in on must be around here somewhere. I could do with a little space cruise on my way home. That is way too coincidental. There's no way it's just there. Oh my god! Ugh. Ugh. That is not good for my heart. Anyways, but yeah, you know, jail time, and like I said, ironically. I think Sonic X is the only time, well, other than one of his uh, super smart robots uh, turning their back on him and him, them imprisoning him. Oh my god, uh, this is intense. Holy crap, for a Sonic game, this is pretty hardcore right now. Oh, ooh, pretty. But anyways, yeah, so... I, yeah, other than one of his own robots becoming super intelligent and double-crossing him, I think the only time Eggman's actually been locked up was in one of the Sonic X, uh... Or, yeah, in the Sonic X cartoon, which, ironically, everyone hates and tries to forget, apparently. And I always loved that, especially as a kid, you know, and it's definitely better than the super old Sonic cartoon, you know, well heard the Nostalgia Critic bashing that show. And ironically, that's the only one still, oh wait, no, Netflix has Sonic X now. I was gonna say, that's the only one they had for a while, the old bad Sonic X cartoon with Scratch and Grounder. Ugh. Horrible, okay. Nice shirt. Cool hat. Hmm, sharp looking glasses, I'll give them that. Eh. Not really caring about the hand accessories. The shoes, maybe. I kind of dig purple, or that's yeah, more pinkish, but. Ooh, okay, that shirt's kind of cool. I dig that.
Okay, so we're back. And you alive is the best news we've had in months. Yep. And here's the bad. Good to have you back, buddy. Our intel indicates Eggman's got a weapons factory in Green Hill, pumping out munitions for his war effort. Oh, that's probably not good. We can't take out Eggman's home base in the tropics if he's got a factory supplying him. Why not? But I mean, is Metropolis like right next to the Green Hill Zone? I mean, if they're far enough away, I'm assuming, you know, it takes a while for the weapons to get to him. We could just take it out. Oh, and Metropolis, what are we even doing here? Call in Superman. <laughs> no kidding. Look, Sonic, uh, I know you just got back. We're spread thin. Can you take care of this? Ah, uh, we just got Hayabusa. Hello, he's still there. We need that factory in Green Hill destroyed. Take the rookie with you. Okay, that's at least something, I guess. The kid was shaking like a leaf the whole time we were at the death egg. Oh yeah, so you just you missed the cutscene. Still, really, I need to think about getting a capture card, but then I had to figure all that out. Oh, either way, so. Hayabusa was just ambushed by like only three Eggman robots and was about to get captured or killed or something, but Sonic came in and saved him. So again, this game is ruining the image I created for this guy. I've made him to be, you know, a badass, basically equal to Sonic and Shadow, well, minus their super speed and powers and everything, but he has gadgets to, you know, compensate. So close to their level, but he's just being treated like a jobber right now. I don't appreciate. That's because it's cold in space. The factory is nice and warm. Uh, yeah, what Charmy said, totally. Uh, we all know birds fly south for the winter. It's cold. He we'll can't take it. To the ground. Sonic, uh, you take the oh, lead. now he's looking Rookie determined. Oh, yeah, sure let's do it. Good notes. Sonic will take a few notes from me. Six months of payback I'm just dying to spend. This sounds like a good start. Yeah, right. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to make, you know, Hayabusa out to be this awesome hero on Shadow's level, because, let's be honest, Shadow's better than Sonic, we all know it. But, anyways... So yeah, he's supposed to be on par with them. I know that's my cannon, not the game's, but still. Oh, come on! I want to play as high Oh. Can I switch? Uh, yeah! We got this, Sonic. That's a reference to... Sonic Generations is when the two Sonics are about to go Super Saiyan. Shadow goes up and, or pops up. He's like, you got this, Sonic. Time for the two of us to team up. It doesn't matter yeah. What oh, there we go. Now, um, oh. Okay. Oh, this is cool. All right. And so, someone was asking, like, you know, I gave Hayabusa a bit of a backstory, but he was also asking, like, about his age and stuff. He's, I'd say, about, you know, 17, around Sonic's age. And, uh, I should have made sure to read the comment before this video. I think he has some else a little. Oh, well, Shane, you know I'm talking about you right now, so uh, we'll just talk about it, you know, later on fanfiction or something. But, oh, God! Well, that was really masterful. Uh, oh, come on, not again! Yes, masterful secret agent on Shadow's level, totally. Oh, oh, ha, ha, not... Uh, oh, no, no! Okay, can I switch between myself and Sonic? Because it seems like this is supposed to be 
A section with oh oh I, I see now I get it. It'll be Eggman's turn to get pushed around when I get a hold of him. Ha <laughs> ha everything burns! <laughs> Ooh! Red coin. Ah burning it all. Well, Hayabusa, just like me, you know, bit of a pyro, so... Maybe not the most stable, but, you know, still... One of these days, he's gonna be up there with Sonic and Shadow going Super Saiyan. Or Super Sonic or Shadow, mark my words. Not much now, but eventually, he's gonna get there. This thing is awesome. See, Sonic, even you take longer to destroy all the robots than that, because you got to bounce off them one by one. I just got to turn in a circle and kill them all. That was a cakewalk. Yeah. I don't know why I was even worried. Yeah, you shouldn't be. Because Hayabusa's here. And Sonic, but, you know, he's the star here. I'll look into maybe changing up his outfit later. You know, that's not the main thing. And again, I get it's for the sake of customization, but the male Sonic characters don't even wear clothes. I don't see why that was a big thing. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. D uh, no, Crocs? Uh. No. Okay. Let's see. I think we got time for one more. Something is attacking inside the okay. mystic jungle. Silver is fighting him, or it, or whatever. Just hurry! Guys, it's on our way. I'm looking forward to a second round with this guy. Oh, it's infinite? Well, sorry, Silver, you might be screwed. Actually, wait, Silver's probably the best to handle him. He's got all the psychokinetic powers and if, you know, you're to believe gameplay, that if he can just use his psychic powers, even Shadow doesn't stand a chance. Well, no cutscenes ruin that, because Shadow just used Chaos Control to dunk on him. Unless this guy can use Chaos Control, Silver should have it down. I think we got time for one more. Okay. Oh, specialty. That's what I think the other part of the comment was. Are bombs like well, he's, you know... He was trained... Uh, Ayabusa was trained by, you know, Shadow and Rouge, so obviously he'd be, you know, kind of a stealth specialist and, uh... Well, obviously, close quarters combatant because of Shadow, but also, you know, mostly covert ops, stealth, espionage, all that. Battlefield disruptance if he can, you know, infiltrate one of Eggman's bases and screw with uh, the robot's controls or something. And yeah. So yeah, there we go. That's what Hayabusa does. If he infiltrates the base, shuts it down, screws up the robots. Oh god! There we go. Every question answered now. Oh, no. Except how to get down there. Got it. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. But yeah, again, Silver, I gotta say, he was definitely up there. I mean, he was painfully slow when, you know, walking on the ground in Sonic Generations or Sonic 06, but I enjoyed, you know, his um, 
psychokinesis powers. He's a, he is a cool character, you know. Kind of weighed down by, you know, the, the fact that was his origin game, but still. Fun. Oh god. Ah, yes. Jump through the shoe. Ah, oh, I missed two. What the, oh my god, that is epic. Oh, Sonic's gonna trick it into... Oh, that is gonna be real spiky, I hope you realize. Nice. That is freaking spikes all in your digestive system, that is brutal. So ironically, out of the Hedgehog protagonist, Shadow Sonic Silver, Sonic is probably the weakest out of all of them because, you know, Silver can throw him around like nothing with his psychokinesis. Shadow is, well, superior in most aspects, but either way. So that's that done. And next time we'll get around to with infinite possibly. Yeah, <laughs> gamer, I like that hat. Okay. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. Maybe a different color, but I'll look into that and okay. Or I mean, nice. Cool. Ooh, that's cool too. Oh. Alright. So Okay. Versus infinite, so that's gonna be what we do next time, taking on infinite. But for now, that's where we're leaving the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you like this and want to see more, go ahead and slash that subscribe button. If you like this video, give a quick cut to the like button, leave a comment down below, and share it around with all your friends. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, then I'll see you in the next video. But until then, my people, stay sharp.